talk about how you're feeling in these last few days of the campaign. Well, we're cautiously optimistic, working hard, spending a lot of time down here in South Florida, and then working our way back into the I-4 corridor to close out the campaign. Uh, doing a lot of grassroots, get out the vote efforts. I mean, at this point, the mail's going out, the TV's already up, and the radio ads are out there, so it's really just making sure that, uh, that the voters turn out and show up. Well, speaking of voter turnout, uh, Republicans have been doing extraordinary on uh, early voting. What are your thoughts on that? Well, it's, it's really remarkable the shift that's occurred in early voting. Uh, last cycle was the worst possible scenario for Republican candidates. This year appears to be the best possible scenario, and uh, where Republicans are running even or even ahead in the early voting and, of course, maintaining their historical lead in the absentee ballot returns. So that bodes well. It reinforces the enthusiasm gap that we're seeing out there about who's actually going to show up and vote, who's excited and passionate about turning out, and who's not as excited about actually turning out on Election Day. What do you think is causing it? Well, I think it's a reaction to uh, what's happened in Washington. It's uh, that you're, you're clearly seeing a, a, a passion generated uh, to change the status quo in Washington, to, to have a power shift in Washington, and that's trickling down and, and impacting races across the ballot.